Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dows. On this video I'm going to talk about right triangle trigonometry. This says part one because there's many different videos I'm going to show on this one. Uh, there's just a lot of new information that you've never seen before. So I'd rather break it up into a lot of small little videos over a long big one because uh, I just might overload you with too much information. Now this says right triangle trigonometry. Trigonometry is not li uh, limited just to right triangles, uh, but these videos I'm doing right now are just going to be for right triangles. And so notice I've got two different examples of right triangles here, but uh, they're a li little bit different here. You can use right triangle trigonometry whenever you have a different angle other than the 90 and you have one of the sides. And if you know you have a right triangle and you have addition, an additional angle and you know one of the side lengths, you can figure out the other angle and the other sides using uh, trigonometry. Or if you know you have a right triangle here uh, and you know two out of the three sides on the right triangle, then you can find the missing side as well as the missing angles here. Uh, Pythagorean theorem can get you the missing side, but it cannot get you the missing angles, and that's where trigonometry comes being very useful. You can find all the sides and all the angles if you have an additional angle and a side length, or if you know two out of the three sides on a right triangle. And so I like trigonometry because uh, it's more versatile than Pythagorean theorem and, and special right triangles. Uh, so let's jump into the concept of trigonometry. There are three trigonometric ratios that I'm going to talk about in these lessons. Uh, one of them is called uh, sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Another trigonometric ratio is the uh, cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And then the last trigonometric ratio is the tangent of an angle is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. You don't know what sine, cosine, and tangent is. You don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about these sides. That's what this video is all about. Now first of all, this is sine. It's, it's S-I-N-E, but it's abbreviated using the first three letters. So don't say sin, this is sine. This is cosine, this is not cos. This is cosine, but they abbreviate it using the first three letters. So this is cosine. And this isn't tan, this is tangent. So again, uh, this is the, using the first three letters uh, of the word tangent gets you this right here. So this isn't tan, this is tangent. So this is sine, this is cosine, and this is tangent. Uh, and so whenever you say sine, cosine, and tangent, it makes you feel smarter than if you say sin, cos, and, and tan. Uh, again, people who know things about trigonometry will think, okay, you don't really know what you're talking about if you don't know how to pronounce these properly. Now, this is an angle measure. This is an angle. And so sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side of the hypotenuse. Uh, you're always going to compare a side over a side on the, on the fraction here, or the ratio. Uh, this is cosine of an angle is equal to a side over a, another side. And this is tangent of an angle is equal to a side over, over a side. A lot of my students forget that this is an angle here. We need to have an angle measure uh, right after sine, cosine, or tangent. So we have an angle here. Uh, we have an angle here as well. And so we're always going to need an angle for a sine, cosine, or tangent. And then again, you're going to compare a ratio of, of a side over a side depending on which angle you're talking about. On this specific problem, let's say we focus on this angle here. Where this is the, the theta. So if I focus on this angle, well, what's the hypotenuse on this right triangle? Well, on this right triangle, the hypotenuse is always the longest side. It's always opposite the 90 degree angle. So I'm going to abbreviate hypotenuse with an H here. Now, what side is opposite of this angle theta? Well, if I draw an arrow away from it, it points to the opposite side. And then so we have an hypotenuse, we have an opposite side. There's also a third side in trigonometry called the adjacent side. And so we're going to have an opposite side, an adjacent side, and a hypotenuse on every single trigonometry problem that we work on. And so um, the hypotenuse, again, is always opposite the given, uh, sorry, always opposite the, the 90 degree angle or the longest side. You should know that already. And then if we focus on this angle here, the opposite side is opposite of this angle. And then the third side is going to be the adjacent side. Adjacent means next to. And so this side is right next to this angle here. But what if I focus on a different angle? What if I focus on angle beta? Does, do these sides still stay the same? Well, one of them does. Again, the hypotenuse is always the longest side, always opposite the 90. So the hypotenuse is always going to be the hypotenuse. It's not going to change no matter what angle I'm talking about. But since I'm focusing on this side here, beta, what side is opposite of this angle? Well, it's now this side here. So the opposite side has changed because I'm focusing on a different angle. 
Uh, and so this is opposite, this is the hypotenuse. The last side has to be the adjacent side. Is this side right next to this angle? Yes, it is. And so I know this can be confusing. And so we're going to practice some problems here in a moment. But depending on what angle you're talking about in a right triangle, depends on which side is going to be the opposite side and which side is going to be the adjacent side. So again, this angle uh, is different from this angle, so the opposite and adjacent side have to switch places. And this is one of the most confusing things when it comes to uh, trigonometry. And if you can figure this out, then it makes things a lot easier. But we're going to get to that here in a moment. I need to first talk about these trigonometric ratios. You're expected to remember the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side of the hypotenuse. Or you're expected to remember the cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent side of the hypotenuse. And then lastly, you're expected to remember the tangent of an angle is equal to the opposite side of the adjacent side. And so when I was growing up, they came up with something called Soa Katoa. Or my teachers told me Soa Katoa. Well, Soa Katoa is a weird little phrase, but it's just an abbreviation of these trigonometric ratios. If I look at the first letter in sine, opposite and hypotenuse, it's referring to the so. If I'm talking about cosine of adjacent over hypotenuse, the first three letters gets me the ka. And then lastly, the t in tangent, the o in opposite and a in adjacent, gets me the toa. So soa katoa. I did geometry in the 10th grade. And then when I was an engineer at UT, uh, University of Texas, I worked in a machine shop where a, a guy needed to cut metal at a certain angle. And I remembered Soa Katoa, and I was able to help them using trigonometry. Just by remembering Soa Katoa, I, I hadn't used it in about six years. And I remembered these trigonometric ratios would help me figure out how to solve the problem for him. So Soa Katoa is a way to help you remember these trigonometric ratios. But some people like to make a phrase out of this. So where each letter is, a, is a, you can make a word, and you can make a little phrase out of it. And one that I teach my students is some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. Yeah, I know, this is shocking, right? You've never heard of this before. No, I'm kidding. But um, some old hippie is the sine opposite hypotenuse. Caught another hippie is cosine adjacent hypotenuse. Tripping on acid is the tangent uh, over the opposite side over the adjacent side. And so the these words go to these trigonometric ratios. And this might be something to help you remember how to do this. Uh, but let's jump ahead and let's uh, talk about the hypotenuse, the opposite side, and the adjacent side, because I promised we would. Uh, this is going to be the last uh, s uh, slide on this video, then I'm going to move on to uh, a different part of trigonometry in my, in my next video. Uh, but we need to label the hypotenuse, uh, the opposite side, and the adjacent side for each triangle with a given reference angle. And so when I'm talking about reference angle, I'm talking about the 62 degrees, talking about the 50 degrees, and talking about the 17 degrees. I'm not going to talk about the 90 degrees. I'm going to ignore these angles here. Uh, all I need to know is that these are right triangles, but the reference angles are the angles inside the triangle that are not the 90 degree angle. And so let's label the hypotenuse H, opposite side O, and adjacent side A, uh, and then we'll be done with this video. And so where is the hypotenuse on this triangle? Uh, if you said the longest side here, then you are in good shape. And so that's the hypotenuse. Now what's opposite of this reference angle? Well, opposite of this reference angle is going to be this side right here. So this is the opposite side. And so that's opposite side. The last side's going to be the adjacent side. And so by default, the adjacent side's going to be the leftover guy. So we label the hypotenuse. We label the opposite side. The leftover side that we haven't touch, uh, touched yet has to be the adjacent side. And so I actually label these in this order every time. I always label the hypotenuse first. Then I go the opposite side second. And then I do the adjacent side third. And it helps you understand where everything needs to go in that order. Um, moving on. If we focus on the 50 degree angle, what's the hypotenuse on this triangle? Well, again, that has to be the longest side, which is this guy right here. Now, what side is opposite of this reference angle? Well, opposite is going to be this guy here. And so the third side has to be the adjacent side. And then lastly, we're focusing on the 17 degree angle. Well, what's the hypotenuse on here? Opposite the 90 is the hypotenuse. Uh, opposite the reference angle we have here is this side. And then so the third side here has to be the adjacent side. Uh, and so hopefully this helps you uh, understand trigonometry just a little bit uh, more than, than before you watch this video. But again, make sure you watch my other videos after this, and you should have a really good understanding of how to do right triangle trigonometry. Other than that, have a good day. Bye-bye.